Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Layo Oladoni. As you know, this is Do Night Bites Kitchen where I bring to you different Orishi Rishi recipe. Oh yeah, I mean it. From Nigeria recipes, American recipe to even intercontinental delicacies. Yes, trust me guys. So on today's menu, what we have here is fresh turkey pepper soup. And I'll be showing you how I made it. So without taking much of your time, let's dive into it. So now I have about five habanero pepper, as you can see, one bell pepper. I like to use bell pepper. Trust me, guys, if you use that bell pepper, it's going to give you that different flavor. Oh, yes, and I mean it. So now I have peeled ginger and garlic. What will you do without using your peeled ginger and garlic? You need that peeled ginger and garlic in your pepper soup. Trust me. And then I have one big onions. You need that onions, add it all to that pepper soup to give you that flavor. And off the camera, I already washed my turkey. As you can see, all sitting all up, pretty in that part. So now I'm just going to go ahead to do what to add my adobo seasoning. Yes, guys, trust me, use that adobo seasoning. It's going to give you that taste. Okay. So I'll go ahead to add my Maggi nut chicken. Yes, this is my favorite um, Maggi. You can use any kind of your seasoning, but this is my preference. So the next thing I do is that I add my salt to it. We need salt in our life. We need salt to make everything nice and tasty. So off the camera, I already um, blend my ginger, garlic, and onions. Guys, you need to blend all ginger, garlic, and onions. I blend it smooth, like puree, because when I'm taking my soup, I do not like to carry along any baggage when I'm sipping my soup. So I like everything to be blended out smoothly. Yes, trust me. But if you don't like it, if you like when you take your soup, if you like that chunk of onions, chunk of garlic in your mouth, you go ahead and do it as you want. But for my preference, I like everything to be smoothed out. I do not want any baggage when I'm sipping my soup. Okay? So you're going to go ahead to mix up all thoroughly. Your seasoning has to be mixed thoroughly. You got to show some love to all of those talking about them getting every bit of that seasoning. Yes, you need to mix up all thoroughly and I'll cover up and then I like it to bring to boil for about um, 30 minutes all together but before that 30 minutes I already come in after 10 minutes of the camera to check for the taste of my turkey i want to check that sauce to make sure that everything is balanced all my seasoning is on point like i want it so now overall about 30 minutes now this is my turkey i like to be my turkey you know i like to boil it to make sure it's soft all the way yes I have dentures in my teeth, guys. Yes, sorry about that. So I have to make sure my talk is really soft. So now off the camera, I already blend my bell pepper and my habanero pepper. And here again, as you can see, I like to blend everything like very, very smooth to the purest, you know, puree. Because I do not want to carry any baggage when I'm drinking my soup. Like I said, I don't want any soup. Or any, I mean, pepper hanging in my soup, you know, and I have to be chewing. I just want to be sipping. It's called, that's why it's called pepper soup. Carry the soup and sip it in. The only thing you have need to chew here is my turkey. As you can see, all of them sprit, sitting in there pretty. You know, I'll go ahead to mix everything up all thoroughly. Very, very important to mix that thoroughly as well. And then I'll add more water. Just rinse my bowl. I'll add more water. If you want to add more, more water, add it. That's why it's called pepper soup. So now I noticed I need to add more seasoning, which is my Maggi nut chicken. So I'm going to dump it through there. And then I'll go ahead to do what again to mix thoroughly. Don't forget that. That is the gist. You want to mix up all thoroughly. That's the secret. When you're making soup, or sauce like this you need to keep mixing anytime you put in any ingredient any seasoning you got to mix up very well and then taste taste as you go to make sure that you are getting that vibes you are getting it you're getting the taste that you want you know so i'll cover up again bring it to boil about 15 17 minutes you want to make sure your peppers are cooked 
thoroughly, guys. So when you open up your pot, when you see the oil on top of that soup, that's when you know that it is ready. That's the sign. So off the camera, I've already washed my mint leaf and I diced it very, very tiny. So I'm just going to be going ahead to sprinkle it. And the next thing I do is to do what again mix up all thoroughly. Show some love to all of the stocky. They all need to get a touch of that mint leaf. You know, that mint leaf is really good for your soup. That smell, I'm telling you, it is the big deal. So mix it up all thoroughly. At this time, my turkey is cooked. It's all done. Turn off my stove. And what I do is cover up about 15-20 minutes for everything to talk to each other and simmer. And voila, our delicious turkey pepper soup is ready, guys. So guys, tell me in your in the comment section let me know in the comment section what you'll be pairing with this pepper soup as for me it's just a side dish so if you have got value out of this video or you learn one or two things go ahead to click on that like button and then guys please go ahead to share with friends and family and to all of my subscribers thank you all for the support and if you are new year consider subscribing what are you waiting for now join the family and also turn on the notification button so that you can be alerted whenever I upload a new video. Thank you for watching and bye for now. See you in my next video. Bye.